As someone who helps people drill water wells for a living, I get asked the same questions over and over. What is a well? How does it work? Will it work for me? What kind of a well do I need? These kinds of questions all come back to the same basic misunderstanding of what a well really is. All a well is, is a hole in the ground. It's nothing more or less than that. A well is a way for you to poke a hole down and get access to the water, which is underneath all the land everywhere on earth has water under it somewhere. When it rains, water soaks down through the sand and hits the clay. And it settles there and it slowly perforates through the clay, gets filtered and becomes pure, and winds up in the rocks and the sand layers underneath those clay layers. And this is basically happening everywhere all around the world all the time. So what we're trying to do when we drill a well is just poke a hole down to get access to that water. So there is no different kind of wells. There is only a hole that gets you to the ground. And once you get down there, you'll find whatever kind of water that's already there. A well doesn't put the water there, it just gets you access to it. So where you live, you may be 50 feet down to water, and that water may have salt in it. You drill down to 100 feet, you may be able to get past that salt layer and find the clear water. You drill to 150 feet, you may find water that has iron in it. It all depends on where you live and what the water is like where you come from. The different kinds of wells are a matter of what is in the ground already, not different ways of drilling it. Different methods of drilling it have different expenses and different drawbacks and different advantages, but the well is always the same. There will not be one kind of well for irrigation and another kind of well for a house and another well kind of well for a cabin. The same kind of well. It's just maybe the depth, maybe the size of it will change a little bit, but the well is always the same. So here we have a typical well casing that hasn't been capped yet. So here we have a 4-inch pipe. Now this is the 4-inch pipe, this is the casing. This keeps back the sand that's in the outside from falling back into the hole that we drilled. So in the bottom of this casing there's little slits, and that slits allows water to get into this casing, and that's called well screen. Inside of that you're going to put a pump. Now on the end of this pipe you'll have a pump, and on the end of this electrical wire you'll have the pump, the motor for the pump. That's a submersible pump style. So you're going to have that down there, and whenever the pump comes on it blows water up out of here, and water replenishes from the ground and fills up the hole again, and you keep pumping it out to run your house. At the end of this hose you'll have a tank that will hold the water and hold the pressure in it so that whenever you kick your house water on, the pump doesn't have to kick on every single time. So you'll be able to fill up maybe 20, 30 gallons in the tank, flush your toilet, wash your hands, whatever, before the pump actually has to kick on, and that's easier on the pump. But that's a typical well installation, that's a typical setup. Now there'll be a cap on here that will seal out animals and insects and things like that from falling into the well so it's safer, but we haven't done that yet. So finally, one of the biggest questions people don't seem to understand is that wells are not usually artesian. People ask me, when I drill a well, what will happen? Will the water just start gushing out of the top? No, that really never happens. It is possible, it's called an artesian well, but it's very, very rare. Even, to, even now you can still find them, but it almost never happens, so don't count on it happening to you. What's going to happen is you're going to drill a hole in the ground, maybe 100 feet deep. You're going to get down there, you're going to put casing and well screen in it. Then you're going to put a pump in there, and that pump is going to pull out the water. That's going to be required every time a well is drilled, pretty much. So I hope that helps you understand what a well is and how it works a little better. If you have any more questions, visit my website at howtodrillawell.com.